Good morning. I'm in one of those transitions. I don't need these. I can't see you, but I can see this. Don't ask. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today if you're looking at it from the inside. I am really glad this is not an outdoor graduation. President Broussard, members of the Board of Regents, members of the faculty, the gra uh, parents, <clears throat> the graduates, who are soon to be my colleagues. It is truly an honor to have this opportunity to speak to you today. This day culminates your hard work towards becoming a doctor. This is the day that Texas Chiropractic College accomplishes their mission statement again. This is a great day of pride for the families who have supported and sacrificed so much to be, for you to be here. I am very humbled by the meaning of this day, the amount of human sacrifice, ambition, and drive that it takes to get here. When President Broussard asked me to come speak to you today, this doesn't happen much, but I was literally speechless. Immediately I thought, I want to do this. Heck, I'm, I'm a ham for public speaking. But then I thought, am I worthy to speak to you? Have I accomplished enough to talk to you who are fixing to start your own careers? Am I old enough? Do I have enough great? Don't answer that. That's rhetorical. But, I, but it's a challenge. Why do I consider this a challenge to speak to you, my future colleagues? Because now I have to look back on a career of successes and failures along the past 20 years and try to somehow put that together so that you can take your careers and this profession to the next level. 21 years ago, I sat where you are today. I'm not going to go through 21 years. We're on a time frame. I understand that. But I had questions. And I think you have the same questions that I had 21 years ago. The first thing you're nervous about and you're thinking is, I'm a doctor. Yes, finally, it's here. But then that thought settles. It becomes a question. I'm a doctor? Am I really? Do I know enough? Have I studied it all? Maybe I haven't seen enough patients. Some of you are confident and feel completely ready to take on your own practice. You feel you know it all. Others of you are very hesitant and frightened and are thinking perhaps more schooling would be the next best option. Both extremes are wrong. The trick is to work towards the middle. Start your career by being a doctor that is cautiously confident, slowly and continuously building on the education you received here. The learning must never stop. The day you stop having the desire to learn about the human body, ailments, and treatments, that is the first step towards failure as a healthcare provider. There are many questions running through your mind at this moment. And like me, you are also thinking why you started on this road to become a doctor. There are probably several reasons you all had, probably different, varied from one to one. But along the way, there had to be a deeply embedded common denominator that you all have and why you're here today, that is to help patients with ailments. To do this, you must first understand and find the ailment and then find the right treatment. Becoming a successful professional that can do this requires knowledge and experience. For the last three and a third years, you have received a tremendous amount of knowledge. You have acquired a small amount of experience. Now your journey will begin to build on both. This is why we call it practice. Another question you have, like I had, how good was my education? 
let me save you the suspense. You have been given a great education. Yes, that is correct. You have been given a great education. The education you received at Texas Chiropractic College has been and always will be first class. I have had the privilege of interacting with both chiropractic colleges and medical schools. My specialty of diagnostic imaging has allowed me to dialogue with doctors of medicine, podiatry, osteopathy, and chiropractic on a regular daily basis. I received my doctor of chiropractic degree at this school. I taught in this institution for 20 years. I am more than qualified to grade the level of education that you are receiving. And let me tell you, this is the Harvard of chiropractic. I understand the internal and external criticism that occur while you go through this program. This class is terrible. That professor has no idea what they're talking about. If I was in charge of this school, I would do this. We've all heard these. Their critiques, their negativity. They've always been here. They'll always continue. I know this because I've been on all sides of these fences. I was the student. I was the professor. I was the department head. I am the alumni. But I can confidently say that the faculty and the administration at this college is second to none. Let me save you the suspense again. It does not matter what institution you go to. Not that you're going to go to another program but you're going to hear the same criticisms at every institution. Yes, even in Harvard. Please trust me, after more than 20 years of experience, I know you have received a great education. The largest question you have to face now is what will I do with my education? These past years have given you a foundation to build success. These past years uh, you have built a foundation of education, and now it becomes your challenge. But whatever you do, don't ignore it or think that there has been a faster or better way to be taught. There is not. In a few hours, everyone will begin their journey from here to build their successful practice. No pun intended, but your, your career will commence after this speech.